just wanted to show you the supplies that I'll be using or hopefully using for this project. Um, I found the bell cloche at the Dollar Tree. As soon as I seen this, I knew I needed to uh, make some decor out of it. Um, if you've been on my channel for quite some time, you know I've done some cloches. Um, I love cloches. I typically do them around Easter time. Well, gosh, I've even done fall. But anyway, this is huge, and I thought, oh, my goodness. So my first thought was I have, like, this bunny family um, that I got from Walmart a year or two years ago, and I thought that would be so cute, but they don't all fit, so I'm going to change it up, my, my uh, idea. So anyway, I'm going to be using the bell cloche, and then this is just an old container I got from the Dollar Tree. I had taken off the uh, picture that was on here and it was a boo-boo. So um, that's why I kept this. <laughs> so not everything works out. And this may not work out either, but I'm going to try. So anyway, I'm going to just use the lid. I took the, the rubber band off already and I'm going to paint that white. So that'll be like that. And then I'm going to use one or maybe all three of the uh, little drain uh, for your, you know, your pots, uh, the little plastic uh, to hold the water. <laughs> Gosh, my words won't come out. I may use this size as well and this size. And then I will also be using one of these bowls. It's already painted white. Um, I, these are in the catering section and I just love the shape of those. So yeah, I'll be using that as well. So, uh, let's get started. I found these eggs, these gold eggs at the Dollar Tree. They come six in a pack there. Now I have some already ready to go. I put them on skewers and stuck those in a foam piece and that'll be my drying rack. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna paint these up. I have the color fawn and white here. I mixed the two together. I didn't care for the color, so I ended up using the color Territorial Beige by Apple Barrel and that is matte acrylic paint. And I just added a dab of the lightened up fawn. Uh, and that was the perfect color for me. And once I had my paint mixed, I just got to painting. And so I'll be painting six of them with the beige color and I'll be painting six of them with white. Once the brown eggs were dry, I'm gonna take the end of a paintbrush and I'm gonna add some polka dots to my eggs. I want five polka dots going down and five across. And I'm just gonna dab into the paint and then dab right onto the egg. And then once the white eggs were done, now I'm going to draw a flower onto my egg and then I'm going to paint the egg with the brown with a white center.
I found that a small pointy paintbrush worked best for me. And if I messed up anywhere, I just went back over it with my white paint. Wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in need, me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. And then once the brown flowers dried, now I want a white center. So I'm gonna take a big paintbrush there and I'm just gonna make a giant polka dot, if you will, with the end of that paintbrush, right in the center of the brown flower. And then I just set those aside to dry and then I'll start working on my nest for my eggs. I'm gonna take this bamboo wreath. Now, I had a fight with this bamboo wreath and I've gotta tell you, that bamboo wreath won. <laughs> so um, I am attempting to make the wreath smaller, right? To fit on this plate. I ended up taking one of those catering plates, those scallop plates, instead of the plastic drain, uh, you know, the drain pieces that you would get put in your garden that I showed in the beginning of the video. I just painted that white and I just want the nest to fit inside of that plate so the cloche will fit right on top. So I started to, um, cut down this bamboo wreath and I've got to tell you wear uh, goggles wear protective eyewear and maybe even some nose protectant <laughs> because I oh my gosh while I was cutting these pieces a one a piece of the bamboo flew and hit me in the nose <laughs> and it hurt but I just kept on working thinking you know ouch okay um and I just continued working. I got scratched up. Um, um, there is probably a way better way to do this, but this is how I did it. Well, after when I was, you know, done with my nest, I kept feeling like, how, you know, that really hit me hard in the nose. Well, a piece of bamboo went in my nose and splintered inside my nose. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> true story <laughs> and um yeah I got it out and I'm okay but I'm telling you this was um a love-hate relationship with me and this bamboo wreath so anyway enough rambling um I'm gonna try and attempt to shorten the wreath so I wanted to keep it intact right and lay that on the the plate and then just add some Spanish moss on top of that and some of the clippings of the bamboo wreath. Well, that didn't work out. I ended up just cutting this uh, bamboo into three sections, and you'll see that in a sec. I took all of the, uh, the jute off of it completely. It worked out. I saved anything that flew off onto my table. I will be saving to add to my nest. So I'm just gonna play some music. Um, I hope you're not all laughing at me too hard. Um, yeah, if you would like to make one of these though, just wear some protective wear, okay? <laughs> my advice to you. <laughs> I wanna do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. To do whatever comes next This or that Getting drunk on whiskey on a Tuesday night I'm Drinking where well I'm by an open fire Make love a fight This or that This or that 
Okay, so I thought it was three pieces. Um, I guess I was traumatized. I ended up cutting them into four pieces and just laying them out there. And it kind of looks real. It kind of looks like a real animal um, made this nest, um, or bird, I should say. Um, so anyway, here I'm just gathering, like I said, anything that flew off onto my table, not the piece from my nose, but on my table. <laughs> and I'm just going to lay it out there and just smoosh it together. I did glue some down to the plate so it would stay in place. And I did glue the uh, Spanish moss onto the, the bamboo. Um, that would keep, that'll keep that in place as well. I do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no break lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. I found this little white plate at a thrift store for 10 cents, and I'm gonna paint it white. And I'm going to use this plate instead of that plastic piece that I showed you in the beginning. There it is there because that plastic is so thin that I just felt like it might smush uh, with some weight on it. So I'm going to use this instead. And I'll be adding this to the stand for my plate, the bowl from the catering section at the Dollar Tree. I want to use that, but I wanted to add this bowl on the top of the bowl and then underneath the plate. I, I hope I'm making sense. I just wanted a little added detail uh, to make to kind of camouflage the fact that that is a Dollar Tree bowl and a Dollar Tree plate. So that's what I'm doing here. And hopefully uh, by watching me do it, you'll understand better. Uh, I'm probably confusing you, but here we go. I'm just gonna glue that little plate onto the bowl just like so I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get and then I'll flip that around and then I'll glue the plate to that so you see how it gave it just a little extra detail and it made it just ever so slightly higher as well. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. Don't know how and here I'm showing you these plates have those uh, lines in the center of the plate. And I'm just going to use that as a guide to glue my plate onto the stand. And here I'm showing you again, see how it's going to smush. So I scratched that as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean my plate up and I'm going to just start adding my eggs. I did glue my eggs in there just with a tiny bit of glue, just um, so they didn't move on me while I moved this, you know, around my home. Got to come my way. 
For the knob on top of the cloche, I will be using some E6000. I felt like the hot glue might burn through the plastic. It is very, very thin on the cloche. So I'm just going to add my little knob at the top and this project is done. And here it is all done. I have it sitting on my kitchen table here. It's got that farmhouse vibe that I love so much. Those eggs, I got the idea. I believe it was Hobby Lobby that I saw them. And yeah, I, I'm really so happy the way that this came out. And here I have it on a side table. Just thought I'd give you all a different angle. And here I have it displayed with some greenery around it just to give it that pop of color and to bring in some of that outdoors feel inside. I added some greenery here. I also added this bow. It has cotton on it. I thought it goes so well with this. I'm gonna leave the bow on there. I did get some opinions and I agree with them. It looks much better with the bow, but I like it without as well. Let me all know what you think. Would you leave the bow on or would you leave the bow off? Thank you all for stopping by and watching my video today. I hope you liked my DIY and I gave you some ideas to maybe make something like it or similar of your own. And with all that said, I will talk to everybody in my next video. Bye for now.